is the narcissist cheating on you? Narcissists are not loyal or committed. They cannot demonstrate continuing loyalty and support. They are attention seekers. They often behave in a provocative, outrageous and reprehensible manner to attract attention. They need narcissistic supply. They need to feel special and important. They need to feel desirable and attractive. And no amount of attention or admiration from one person is ever going to be enough for them. They can never be satisfied. And if you ever have an argument or disagreement with them, they're going to feel invalidated. They're going to feel worthless and insignificant. So you could be sure that they will find someone else to give them the attention and admiration that they are looking for. <clears throat> you cannot invest anything of any significance or value into the narcissist. Because they will always let you down in the end and you will be left disappointed. They cannot sustain anything good for long periods of time. They have no sense of loyalty. They have no feeling of support or allegiance. So they do not abide by any rules. They do not adhere to any restrictions or limitations. In their minds, there are no rules. There are no restrictions or limitations. That doesn't apply to them. And they will do whatever it takes to get the attention that they need. They are seeking gratification, which can only be gained from the satisfaction of a desire. And they have no problem indulging in anything. They don't care about how it might affect you. There are no restrictions or limitations. So they will do whatever it takes to satisfy their desire. They get caught up in situations with other people who are then taking their attention away from you, which leaves them unable to have any care or compassion for you. Cheating is unacceptable behaviour and it is not something that you should tolerate. It is not something that you should accept or endure. When you entered a relationship with a narcissist, you made a contract of loyalty and devotion with them. That is something that you agree to when you enter a relationship with someone. There are standards that are expected, which are commonly known. So cheating is unacceptable behavior. They know what they're doing is wrong. They understand how it might affect you. They just don't care. They don't care about the consequences of their actions because in that moment they want what they want and they are going to do whatever it takes to get it. They are going to do whatever it takes to satisfy their desire for attention regardless of how it affects you, regardless of the potential consequences. Narcissists are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They only care about themselves. They only care about their own needs. And that is why they always put themselves first. That is why they do not consider you.
when you get into a relationship with someone, you are supposed to consider them. You are supposed to consider how your actions might affect them. When you get into a relationship with someone, there is an agreement that is made that you're going to be loyal and devoted to each other so that you can then engage in sharing your high moral standards of behaviour with each other without the fear of threat of any interference or invent intervention. Without the fear or threat of any violation of the agreement that you have made. You don't want to give all of your affection and love, your loyalty and devotion and then have the fear of it being compromised. You don't want to invest all of that into something where you are then going to have to accept standards that are lower than what you desire. That is why people make the agreement of being together in an exclusive partnership. It is an agreement of something that you are both committed to. It is a contract. The problem is, the narcissist does not fulfill these obligations. They do not regard the agreement with great respect. They make their own alterations to the agreement that you have made without any acceptance or confirmation from you. So you can be sure that yes, if they haven't already, the narcissist is going to be cheating on you. They are not going to be honouring any agreement that you have made. If you pay close attention to what they are engaged in, often on their phones, you will find that they have most likely already made contact with someone. Whether it's on social media, text message, email or on a dating site, they have already made contact with someone who they are interested in or someone who is interested in them. While they are supposed to be in a relationship with you, which clearly shows that someone else has their attention. And that is why they are not giving you the proper care or attention. They are neglecting you because their attention is elsewhere. They are attention seekers. They are constantly seeking attention else elsewhere. One person's attention is not enough to satisfy them. They always need more. They're not focused on bettering themselves or trying to grow or develop anything great with you. They're only focused on their own selfish desires. So they don't have the time or energy to create anything of any real purpose or meaning with you. They're not able to concentrate long enough to do that. Because they are always looking outside of the relationship for other sources of supply. And then they begin to cheat on you. When the narcissist first met you, they did everything they could to try to secure you as a source of supply. They wanted to be admi admired by you. But once they know they've got you, and they know you're not going anywhere, then they want to be admired by anyone other than you. If you mention anything about them not attending to you in the way that they did before, they will pretend as though they care, just to relieve the pressure or criticism. But then they will continue with whatever they were engaged in, or whoever they were pursuing. They are attention seekers. They need narcissistic supply. And this is not something that you can change about them. It is not something that will go away. It is also one of the main reasons why they cheat.
pay attention to what they're doing on their phones. That is what they use to get the attention that they constantly crave and need. You will be amazed at what you might find on their phones. They might pretend as though they are playing video games or replying to emails. And when you look at their phone, that is what you will see. But as soon as you turn away or go to do something else, they're pulling up their social media or dating sites. Things that they don't want you to see. But if you're dealing with a narcissist, you could be sure that that is what you will find on there. One person's attention is never enough for them. They cannot be satisfied. So they have to seek it elsewhere. They have to look for more. And the easiest way for them to do that is through their phones. They're talking to other people on there. People that they are attracted to. People that they desire sexually. And when they do that, they are entering this fantasy world. Narcissists live in a fantasy. Their entire lives are a denial of reality. So they entertain this fantasy world and they bring people who they find to be attractive and desirable into this world where this other person they're interested in has their own larger than life character where they imagine and fantasize about things that are impossible or improbable. So when they're cheating on you, they're actually going into another world where they completely forget about you and who you are. They're not even able to experience who you really are. Because when they're seeking all of this attention, they're in this fantasy world. They're in this alternate reality in their minds. And that is why it is so easy for them to cheat. It's so easy for them to be disloyal. Because when they were with you, they were in this other world. They were in a fantasy. So in their minds, it's not real. It's just a part of their fantasy. And they can mold it into whatever they want it to be, whenever they choose to. You cannot develop a relationship of any real purpose or meaning with a narcissist. They behave in a way that is too unpredictable for you to do that. They lack the ability to judge what is right and wrong and then act accordingly. They lack the foundation for a system of belief or behavior or for a chain of reasoning. And that is why you will always see them on their phones. That is why they are always on social media or on dating sites. Talking to other people who they find to be desirable or attractive. It's their favorite form of entertainment. And it provides them with amusement and enjoyment. They love the attention. It is the only thing that makes them feel alive. And that is why they can never be loyal to you. That is why any relationship that they get into is destined to fail. They don't even know what they want. They want anything that attracts them. Anything that makes them feel good. Regardless of what they already have. They are always going to want more. You cannot develop a relationship of any real purpose or meaning with a narcissist. They cannot even be loyal to themselves. 
They don't even trust themselves. They don't even know what their next steps are going to be. They are always looking for attention. They are always seeking narcissistic supply. And that is what decides what their next move is going to be. They don't even have control of that. Their supply decides what they're going to do next. And this is what causes them to be so unpredictable. This is what causes them to cheat on you. They always need attention. They always need narcissistic supply. And that is why they can never be loyal to you. If you are with someone who is a narcissist, you can be sure that if they haven't already, at some point, they are going to be cheating on you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissivercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.